guys, I am back to do an updated review of my washer and dryer set, which I did do a re review on back in May. And now that I've had them for um, a few months and I use them almost every day, I wanted to do an update video because I'm absolutely loving these. And for anybody that's in the market for a new set, definitely consider these if you do like the front loading option. I actually have a load going right now. And I'm going to be quiet here because it's so quiet that you literally forget you're doing laundry. So it's just so nice because for years I was used to the top loaders and they're so noisy and these are so quiet. So I just wanted to show you guys how quiet they are when the actual load is going. It is awesome. Another great thing is these adjust to whatever amount of clothing you have in there as far as the water. So if you have only a small load, there's only going to be a little bit of water. Um, your clothes will come out of the wash barely feeling wet or even damp. It's just amazing how energy efficient these are. And I am just loving this set so far. I actually switched um, to from the liquid detergent to the pods. So I'm using um, the Gain pods, um, which just, it's like a little, some people haven't seen these, but it's just like a little pack. Um, with a detergent and stuff right in it. They look like this. And they actually go right in the wash, like right in the actual wash with the clothes rather than in the detergent drawer. Um, from my first video that I did, a lot of you guys commented, which I didn't know and I appreciated it, that um, using this with the liquid detergent actually wears something down in here. Um, and through research and you guys' helpful comments, um, I found that that seems to be the case for a lot of people. So that's why I switched to those pods and I'm loving the pods um, so much. Now, I know you guys saw in my last video that I got the drawers on the washer and dryer. Um, my detergent didn't fit in there, but the pods do. So I can fit the pods right in there standing up. My detergent didn't fit. So um, for right now, I keep my detergent right on top, as you can see with my fabric softener um, and then my little burst things that I like to add in the wash to make my clothes smell fresh. Um, so the drawers are a really nice feature and we are going to be moving soon so I will do another updated video tour to show you guys these when we move but I just wanted to do a little snippet and show you guys how quiet it is um, and I will also do a snippet and show you guys how quiet the dryer is on here as well. Okay guys, so a load of clothes just finished washing and a couple things I wanted to share with you that um, the actual uh, men who delivered this set told me, which I'm extremely thankful for, is when you open up the door, it's hard to see on camera, but see how it's wet and condensated or um, just a little bit, I don't know, damp if you will. He actually told me after each wash to just quickly take a towel, so I leave a towel right on top and just wipe it down. Um, you know, nothing too crazy, but just kind of wipe it and it's not soaked. It's just a little bit condensated from just, you know, the actual cycle. So after each wash, I've been remembering his words and I've been wiping it down. It takes 30 seconds just to wipe the inside. Um, he said by doing this, it prevents mold, which makes total sense. He also told me to leave. Um, and also guys, I'm wiping the inside. Um, there's this rubber. Um, area right here that's flexible that you can move and he told me just to give it a quick wipe after each wash so I just get the towel in between the groove and just wipe it down again it takes like 30 seconds and to me it's worth it because nobody wants a moldy washer another thing he taught me or told me is um, when the washer is not in use to leave the door open like this so I have been remembering to do that um, I would say if you don't if you really don't want to do that maybe it's because um, a safety hazard for a child obviously makes sense then go ahead and just keep it shut but remember just to wipe down this inside here and then make sure you give the inside rubber part um, again it's flexible it's kind of dark to see, but if you wipe it down really well, I would think that it would be okay to close the door. Um, again, for safety reasons, which I totally understand. So I just wipe it. I do leave this open. However, my laundry room does have a door that shuts, so I keep the door shut so there's no risk of my son getting injured of any kind. Um, and then when I take the clothes out, guys, they're literally, they're barely wet. Like they're 
They don't feel heavy and sopping wet like my clothes in my top loader did. Um, so I really like that. I mean, they're barely even damp. So now I'm just going to go ahead and hang these all up. I actually hang dry my clothing, um, except for linens and towels and socks and things like that. Those would go in the dryer. And um, like I said, I will show you guys later on um, what a drying cycle looks like and sounds like um, in my dryer. Okay, guys, so I have the dryer on, and it's super quiet. Um, not that dryers are normally loud, but um, it's really, really quiet. And it does a great job. Um, I find that a large load I can usually dry in less than an hour, usually about 45 minutes to 50 minutes, um, and that's for a large load. The nice thing is because the washer, um, when the clothes come out of the washer, they're hardly, you know, in my opinion, wet. That it really helps cut down on the drying time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the updated review of my washer and dryer. Um, I know that my other my first video got a ton of views so I figured that um, it was probably a good idea to do an updated video because it seems as though a lot of people might be in the market for these so I would highly recommend this set and I hope you guys all have a great day